What's going on, YouTube? Yep, I'm back with another video. It's another Omnibus uh, sort of unboxing, pickup video, however you guys want to play it. Um, I do have an unboxing from Cheap Graphic Novels that came in earlier this week. And then I got some uh, pickups that I got from, I think it's Comic Exchange in Knoxville, Tennessee. I was kind of on a small road trip this week uh, on Tuesday, so I decided to swing by there and see what they had. Uh, one of these books, I eyeballed it last time I was in there, but the copy that they had on the shelf was damaged. I wasn't willing to pay cover for it due to the fact it was damaged. And I looked at the damaged one this time, decided I was going to pass on it again. Got to the register, and lo and behold, they had another one at the register that wasn't damaged, so I ended up copying it. Um, the first book I'm going to show you, though, they had three copies where all their Omnis were, and then they had this copy that was in the 50% off bin. And in the 50% off bin, the only other Omnis they had were Oz... There was one other one, but it was something kind of cheesy that you can get like at a used bookstore for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. So it wasn't even worth the 50% off, but it is the Frank Miller Electra Omni. Um, I recently picked up the Daredevil with the different cover with like the DM cover. And then I also picked up the Companion, which kind of matches this ambiance uh it's a pretty small omni uh retail on it was 100 bucks like i said 50 percent off so i got it for the the half off 50 bucks ain't bad that's about what it's going for online um i haven't dove into that miller run they say it's the best daredevil run that there is um so far i've read the bendis run and I'm missing number one on the Brubaker run because I really want to dive into that. Daredevil's probably my second favorite character after, of course, Spider-Man. So uh, I really like reading Daredevil. I need to get into that Miller run. I've been on vacation this week and I've read uh, Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus and I just finished Bendis's, uh New Avengers Omnibus. I knocked that one out in like a day and a half. Like it was such an easy read. Very good story. I really enjoyed it. Which I really enjoyed the Ultimate Spider-Man. I had never read any of the Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. Uh, at the time that it came out. I had quit collecting comics for quite a few years at that point. Uh, just doing teenage stuff. Um, comics were kind of an afterthought. And now that I've gotten back into it. It's like. I, I really, me personally, I really enjoy Bendis anyways. I think it's a very easy read, anything that he writes. Haven't gotten into anything that he's kind of wrote for DC with the exception of maybe Naomi. I think he did that title, which it was just a mini series of six. Uh, haven't gotten into anything else. From what I hear, it's kind of, it's DC. <laughs> but everything I've read so far of uh his work with marvel i've really enjoyed so that's where we're at with that one and this was the one that was damaged but i found a copy that wasn't it is uh the runaways i wasn't familiar with this run i didn't know anything about the runaways and i stumbled upon the tv series and i really 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 enjoyed it um Honestly, I didn't like the character Alex, but all the rest of the characters I liked. Uh, I thought Alex was kind of quirky because he didn't really have a superpower. I mean, yeah, he's really, really smart and he knows stuff about computers, but that could be said about a lot of people that aren't superheroes. And he's hanging out with a whole bunch of people that do have superheroes. Uh, this one collects the Runaways from 2003, 1 through 18, Runaways from 2005, 1 through 24, the free comic book day 2006 so i don't know i'm i'm kind of intrigued to watch it and see you know or i mean read it and see just how good it is and how it compares to the actual series because i really liked the series i thought it was pretty great so those are the two that i actually picked up from comic exchange and uh, 
us get into our cheap graphic novels haul. I think the my cheap graphic novels hauls are going to be getting slim here coming soon because I have pre-ordered so much stuff in the coming probably six to eight months from um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's like DCBS, I think. It's whatever um, in stock trade sister company is. I have, my first order hopefully will ship fairly quick because I did order the Defenders, and I think it just came out this last week, or maybe it comes out this week. I'm not really sure. Um, so that was the first one that I, hold on. Get some of the noise out of the way. So that was probably the oldest pre-order that I have. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the pre-orders that I set up, I set them up as just standard shipping. So I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to get them. They're probably going to shop, ship them on a monthly basis. And man, I got a lot of stuff pre-ordered. I bet you I probably got every bit of 15 to 20 books pre-ordered for the next couple months. And, okay. I had to remember what all was on this order. We got X-Men Inferno. And I do believe I have the prologue already pre-ordered. Not sure. This collects a bunch of stuff. Uh, not really going to run it down to you guys. I mean, obviously you can look it up. But it's a ton. <clears throat> Everything seems to be kind of in the same. Mm, no, it really don't. It is a hodgepodge of different stories from different years. We got some stuff from 86, 81, 61, 63, more from 63, 76, 85, 64. So, I mean, it's just how they come up with some of, some of these stories. It's amazing to me. It really is. But I figured that would be kind of a nice addition to my X-Men. And they just announced that they're going to be doing, uh, I think they announced they're going to do Mutant Massacre. They're going to re-release it as Omni, so I'm kind of excited about that one. I don't think it's available for pre-order just yet. And then I ordered uh, Avengers The Gathering. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, the premise behind it sounded like it was going to be an interesting read. <clears throat> Not really familiar with either of these... Uh, contributors we got what is that bob harris and steve epting I, the problem that i have with a lot of writers or even artists to a certain degree if i can't think of something offhand that they've done i might i might have read some stuff from them and just don't realize that i have um i mean if it's somebody like starling or uh, let me think of some more you know, obviously Ditko or John Romita Sr. or Jr. You know, the big names. Oh, yeah, I remember them. But I can't remember all the stuff that I've read as a kid. Um, I mean, I read a lot of comics as a preteen or even a teenager. I can't remember what all I've came across or what I've read in the past. So it's it's one of those things that... And even back then... I didn't start getting into learning who the authors were or who artists were until probably the the start of Image. The Image kind of put a focus on, you know, creators. Uh, before that, I liked certain characters. Whoever was writing them at the time, I'd read them. Either I'd like the story or I wouldn't. Maybe I'd jump on and off titles. And I wasn't collecting on a weekly or monthly basis. So it was just like I would go grab a random Amazing Spider-Man, read it, enjoy it. I might not buy another Spider-Man for, you know, two months. Just kind of, you know, when you're a teenager, especially in the 80s to early 90s, you might not have money for comic books. A lot of times I would get a comic book because we, one of the places that sold comic books in my city at the time or my town, 
um, was a used bookstore. So my mom would go in there to buy used books. Well, as a kid, you're going to beg for stuff. And they had comic books, new comic books, old comic books. So they did have a nice little selection of back issues. I get a comic and usually a wizard. Because, you know, I like some of the articles in the wizards. I, nobody, even back then, trusted the, the price guiding in them. But some of the articles were awesome, especially if you had Spawn or Spider-Man or Hulk or somebody on the front cover. It's like, you know you're going to get a good article in there. Now, looking back on it, was it really great articles? Probably not, but man, they were entertaining at the time. You know, it was our equivalent to Sports Illustrated or whatever, you know, Motor Trends. But it was comic books. I mean, hell, you didn't have a lot of magazine based around comic books at the time. So that was kind of my introduction to a lot of other comics that I normally wouldn't have read. You know, you read an article that pumps up a, a new issue that's coming out or tells you that something's going to be like epic because everything was just above and beyond. It was just going to be the best thing ever happened to comic books back in the 90s, especially around that era. I mean, hell, they probably had 50 X-Men titles, you know, yet, I don't know, and then all the foil covers and stuff, but maybe it is what it is. But that was my haul for this week. I uh, don't know if I have one next week, like I said, I don't know how, uh, and I apologize if I'm saying this wrong, I think it's DCBS, Discount Store, yeah, I think it's DCBS. Uh, I don't know how they do their shipping. Like I said, I do have the Defenders ordered. I probably won't do an unboxing on that unless I end up getting something else in. Um, nothing's really catching my eye. And I'm kind of skeptical on buying anything that hasn't just most recently been released. Um, going and searching out those hard-to-find Omnis. Um, it's bit me in the butt a couple times. Um, and now that they're doing so many reprints, I'm kind of this skittish about spending above cover for pretty much anything i mean if it's something that i think may or may not come back out in the next three years i got enough stuff on my wall right now that i haven't had a chance to read just because i don't have time um i think a lot of people that collect omnis and actually read them they fall into the same category there's so many omnis that come out on a monthly basis it if you don't have a whole bunch of downtime, it's really, really intimidating and hard to catch up and read everything. Like I said, I've read two of them this week. Um, I probably will crack into something tonight. I don't know if I'm going to crack into Secret Invasion by Bendis or if I'm going to go ahead and jump into that Miller Daredevil. Um, I don't know. I was considering the Secret Invasion just because I finished the New Avengers. And they say that that's kind of a good jumping on point right before you read Secret Invasion. Um, I don't know. In the comments, tell me what you guys are reading. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. Su subscribe. I'm not making content as much. Um, I think now I'm getting into... I don't know. I just want to tell you guys what I'm doing in my life when it comes to collecting. Uh, as opposed to trying to pump out a video every single week. Uh, that's never really been my forte. It's never really been what this channel's about. Um, kind of is what it is. I'm really considering doing a CGC uh, submission. I just have got out of the habit of pressing and cleaning my books. Um, I have plenty that are ready probably to send. It's just getting everything prepped and it's like, I don't know. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, especially if you're not kind of motivated and right now I'm kind of lacking the motivation to do so but like I said hit that subscribe button hope to see you guys soon and be safe out there peace